This video is about alternatives to handshaking. So let me show a few. Now some of those are Asian, some are Middle Eastern, some are Biblical. So I haven't uh, shaken hands with people in many years, you know, for religious reasons. I like to live a Biblical lifestyle. Some of those people got angry at me, you know, like I was rejecting them. But let's be logical about this. This other person who gets angry is actually communicating to you that you have to touch their flesh. Your flesh and their flesh has to touch in order for them to feel, I don't know, welcome or, or, that, or that you are polite to them. But isn't it silly? Isn't it much more beautiful to connect intellectually, emotionally? There, there was a story about a man, I think it was in New York, he was selling newspapers and magazines and he, he was very friendly and he had the habit of shaking hands of every customer. Then, all of a sudden, he got this enormous, terrible rash on his hands and it lasted for months and he suffered so much, it took so long to get rid of it. After that, he stopped shaking hands, and there was just no way he was going to start up again. I've seen people put their fingers in their eyes, their nose, their mouth, their ears. Um, I've seen them carry a garbage can, and then right after touching the garbage can, they went and they, they smoothed their hair. I've seen people pet a dog and then handle food and eat it. I mean, you don't have to work in surgery to know that, you know, that there's germs. Anyway, uh, our immunity is the most important thing to keep us healthy. But let's not, you know, make our immunity, you know, to try to be super. I mean, we're still human. We can be subjected to all the, this bacteria and these viruses. And, um... You know, they, they, people have looked at other cultures as strange because they don't shake hands. Well, now those other cultures seem to be a lot more uh, advanced and, and wise than we are, right? So the tables have turned. So let's learn from, from everything that's happening in the world right now. Hopefully we'll have a better world because, because of what we've been through.